What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Gemini G somewhere back. So, one of those dash cams that I ordered online, it came in today, it came in yesterday, but I didn't go home yesterday, I went to Oklahoma. I'm here now, and uh, we're going to change this bad boy out. I had this for three years, ran okay. Um, decent picture, uh, shoot about 1080dp um, on my dash cam in my truck. And um, middle of this week, it was not holding its place no more. So here's the dash cam. That part right there, the neck part, broke. So every time you run a pothole or a bump, it does that. So um, I left it like that for the rest of the week. There's still power to it. So this is the plug right here. The, Greek, the blue ring right here that's the power plug to this so you know over time you know since I left that out for the rest of the week till I get home um, the power to it no longer functions very much so now it flickers so if I flicker it see how it red ID see it's trying to get power to it but yeah that's look at that it's doing three, 360 and all that you know this is what it does when you drive down a road it's Taking like abuse and it's time to go. It's 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 time to go. So um, I bought me one of those nice ones, really expensive ones. Um, you're looking about with three year warranty. So I'm guessing about maybe five year warranty in total. They come with two year warranty, but I bought an additional three year warranty. So it told me a total of five year warranty, I believe so. Come out around to like four hundred and twenty seven dollars um, at Black by uh, Black Box. Um, I'll add the links to the very bottom of, of this video here if you decide to look for a dash cam. They have so many different varieties. This dash cam, I bought this way before I even knew about that website, way before I, I didn't know too much about dash cam. I just know that I needed one for work. So that's been going on. I've been having that for three years now and then it finally died on me. So what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the camera the, the, the one I bought, the, the real nice one, okay? I wanna put that camera into the SDI. I wanna take the cam the old dash camera in the SDI and wanna throw it into the, this truck. I'm gonna get rid of that. That's thrown away. I'm gonna throw that in the trash. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one in the trash. The, yes, the, the dash cam on the SDI, from that dash cam to this truck, and the new dash cam is gonna be installed on the SDI. And not only did I bought the front dash cam, I also bought the rear dash cam. It was a bundle kit, um, give you 10% uh, off. They had a little deal. So now I'm gonna run it with front and rear dash cam. Um, I may pre-wire it for the rear uh, dash cam for our uh, for our STI due to, I wanna change the, the tent in the future. So if I were to put the dash cam on the window, on the rear window, and I've already moved the tent, they're gonna have to remove the sucker off anyways. So I'm just gonna pre-wire it, I'm gonna leave it there uh, and uh, run the wire for it, but I won't fully install the rear camera. I'll install the front dash cam, but not the rear until I get my windows tended, redone, and then um, once it's fully cured and all that, then I'll throw the rear dash cam onto the STI. So right now, you know what's going on. This has been going earlier this week, and see, it's the, the power is trying to come on. You see it, is that ready? But when it moves, it loses power. So, you know, it's doing this while I'm driving. So, it's time to go. That thing has to go. Plus, I need to upgrade because this thing is shooting at 1080p. Um, that has saved me my butt a couple of times. Um, uh, uh, what, beginning of le beginning of 2021 or somewhere, I think during during spring, uh, one of our co driver, he no longer works anymore. He quit anyways, and he does his own thing now. Uh, he probably still driving trucks. Um, I was behind him when we were hauling billets, and the billets, um, he slammed on his brakes, and all the bullets on the back of his trailer went forward and went and hit the head rack, uh, nearly punctured the head rack into his truck. So lucky he had that head rack. But that truck got totaled, and um, he fixed it. Anyhow, um, the insurance totaled it out. So that camera, this camera here pick up that footage. So, so that's how I got the footage for that for, for that video. <clears throat> Anyhow, um, yeah, we're gonna remove this 
all the wire i have to open this box up and remove some panels out the door seals and all that and rerun the other wire for the other dash cam so let me go ahead and get that box do an open box video real quick and then i'm gonna start ripping things out of this car and the SI car and move things over catch you guys in a bit all right guys we're back i just i just cut the box open so here's the stuff here nice wall packaging okay pretty simple um to get more power to sell a uh, power cell battery pack that you hook up to your car so if you want your dash cam to stay on while the car is off you can do it this way um that's what they do this is what it called black box my car this is where i buy all my dash cams now um from this day forward um the one on my z i'm using the uh passport escort uh, dash cam because they give me a bundle deal on that that's why i went with that one but on the si i went with them uh hana's parents cars i put uh their dash cam from that company as well from this company here okay so we're here here we got thinkware okay thinkware dash cam so they are two uh well they are they're a good handful of uh dash cams so vifo is another good one for the best bang for the buck uh black uh, black vu uh v v u e black vu that's how you pronounce it black vu that's another one another one uh a little bit more uh a little bit more expensive than the vivo and then after uh, vivo is um thinkware and then another one is called find uh find uh, find cam or find me it's another it's on the website i add the links at the very bottom to the website and you guys can check them out and he highly recommend um thinkware and uh, uh the find me or find cash cam, dash cam what well, is uh, the, the one the find me or or the find find uh, dash cam one um that one has been in the game for over 30 years but they recently about a year ago they recently put um having those merchandise those dash cams into america so it's not very popular but they've been in the game for a very long time um this company here thinkware is another one that's really good that's been in the game for a very very long time as well after thinkware is black blue and then after black blue is vivo vivo and black blue are the most budget friendly the most affordable uh to get you a dash cam ready to go uh for re more reliability and uh, more longevity like a long 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 time think where and find me or the other one or or are the most lasting dash cam and how i know this i had called them and asked them about what kind of bundles deals they got and um i he me those two uh those two products that he highly recommend it said vivo and um, black blue is really good as well but they're more budget friendly um the quality of the uh, of the footage is there uh long lasting uh above a little over average okay if you want more than long lasting than that thinkware and the uh, the find me or find dash cam um those are, those are the best so i went i look at the find me and i look at thinkware i look at the reviews thinkware has more reviews than the find me like i said uh find, find me or find dash cam they just been they just came to the us not too long ago so i read the reviews a lot of people a lot of people i read the reviews on thinkware dash cam and i decided to get this instead why because the reviews so let's open this bad boy up okay so we'll get right here do not accept if seal is broken that's a nice touch this is what it looks like this is the front that's the rear dash cam Thinkware dash cam U1002 channel. Okay, hope you guys can see that. Okay, Thinkware dash cam U1002 channel. Okay, um, this one here shoots 4K Ultra HD. Okay, 4K UHD 30 frames per second. Um, the chip is Sony, Sony XMAR R Starvis. It has a cloud feature as well. Thinkware cloud for iCloud super night vision okay 2.0 wi-fi compatible gps road safety warnings safety camera alert uh parking mode and as available friendly for the app for this dash cam it's also android and ios apple phones friendly with this app for this dash cam okay parking mode is a really nice feature 
Um, this will really work really good for my truck, but my STI costs, you know, that's my, you know, top priority on that one right now for now. So I want to go and put um, this camera onto that car. Um, think we're dash cam. Okay, here's a, a UP code. Okay, same thing on the other side. Bomb is really nothing. Uh, manufacturer thinkware thinkware dash cam and uh, that's pretty much about it okay let's break the seal okay seal is broken so what you get in the box so first thing you first thing you see is the front dash cam now the vifo and the black view has a, a screen on it so you can see where the camera is pointing this one here, the screen is not built in. You have to download the app and you'll see the screen, wherever the, the camera is, is showing on the camera, you look at on your phone. And you know, you can download all your footage, you know, like a, a like if you got a hit, hit and run or accident, you can download footage to your phone and you can show the police officer see who is fault, okay? So here's the front, the front dash cam, okay? Down the box as well. Nice, pre nice presentation, okay? And we got the Thinkware Quick Start Guide and Warranty. That's a kind of a thick book. <laughs> Black and white. Isn't they crazy? Okay. Different languages as well. That's why it's thick. You got your hard wire here. If you want to run through your fuse, you can do that. Okay. You got your power wire here. Okay. For the front camera to the rear camera, that's probably what it's for. We got your traditional. Everybody, but use a cigarette lighter, a cigarette lighter um, plug, power plug to the hammer. That's what we're gonna be using. And then we got the rear dash cam. That's kind of cute. Look at that little thing, man. That rear dash cam is cute. It's small. <laughs> and then uh, down here we got some lens this is called the cpl filter using the cpl uh, filter to reduce dash cam reflections and enhance coloring contrast in videos the think we're circulating um polarized cpl filters needed to be positioned correctly for uh, for op optimal results so you know this is for uh the lens if you want to put it on okay so you got wiper cloth and they go your lens right there you know if you want to use that <clears throat> over here we got customer service information Cl thinkware cloud okay connection and service tutorial scan here which i'll be using this okay we got <clears throat> some uh some double side tape clips with uh it's plastic that way you can run your run, run your power wire and um clip it to this to the the roof or the side pillar that way it makes it look like a clean nice install i do mostly tuck in you, you know so i'm just gonna save these we got a backup sticker here for your front dash cam so if your front one wears out or in any case if you gotta remove it falls off you can have another one to replace <clears throat> a little silicone thing that's nothing we got the front mount i believe this looks like the front mount yeah that's the front mount right here we already installed uh 3m tape so the front mount so your front mount will, will this will stick on your windshield and your front dash cam will stick onto this then we got they provided with a 32 megabyte uh thinkware dash cam that's a pretty nice touch okay so that's what's inside the box okay nothing crazy I'll put this in here for now i want to make a crave a huge mess Okay, now for the little bitty guy, this is the rear dash cam. Okay, you pull the lens up, you mount this on the rear of your car, the, the rear of the windshield. You can adjust this up and down, I believe. Or do you? Yeah, you can adjust it upside down, up and down to your view on the back window. Okay, really nice touch. 3M already, already on there. We got the power wire here and this is for probably for voice um inside the cabin uh mic maybe um obviously they have vents here to keep the camera cool as possible especially in summer and hot days and 
the uh, product brand rear view camera okay nice touch okay <clears throat> almost thought this boy bad boy last when we re when we retent the car now here's the front dash cam so we got the record button right here we get your power button there we got the wi-fi button there that's the mic button and uh, you can, this is screen right here it probably lights up when you turn on turn it on uh 4k qhd digital recorder okay we got your um what the hell dc in that's power going in exterior and radar so if you're running a radar um i don't know what that is it says radar on there uh we got your what is that what does that say v dot i n i don't know what that is <clears throat> and i believe this right here is like a little spacer here i'm guessing that's what the uh the 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 sd card goes into i have to double check oh never mind they go over here okay that's the micro sd card goes here the reset button and the mic right there i don't know what this door is this here i don't know where it is here's the front view camera okay this can go up and down don't get me wrong yeah it moves up and down see it see so you move up and down to your liking and how you want the camera set up and then the mount would be right here you put on the mount and you slide in and it stays in stays in place okay so that's what it looks like it's a really nice camera <clears throat> really nice clean setup okay and i'm gonna be installing this on the sti and like i said i'm gonna take the camera from the sti so we've been having that for three years that camera has been wonderful to be honest with you guys okay that camera that's in the car right now on the sti it's been great we never had any issues with it um it's been running for three years never had a problem with it never never had a problem with it and it's still going strong to this day okay so my car well they're both my car this car is running an ns corp uh, escort passport radar with a 1080 p dash cam it was, it was a bundle deal uh, uh, it was a bundle deal um it came together and i bought it that's the reason why i bought that dash cam for it if it wasn't for the bundle deal i just i would just buy the radar the red uh the red red line escort radar then i would have bought a separate dash cam and put on this car here but in the meantime we're going to take the camera out of this one here so this one here is the vifo this is the pro version and this one shoots 4k as well um it's been great we've been have no issues with this one so far so i'm going to take that out i'm going to show you guys see it you guys can see that has a screen on it so i'm going to take that vifo out and put it in my truck and the one in the truck i'll throw it away and I'll install that new one over there on the table with the one I just show you guys right now. I'm gonna take that camera and install on this car. Okay. So let me go ahead and start ripping this baby out. Install this in my truck, set it up. And then um I don't want to make this video too long for you guys on the install. I mean, I mean it's pretty simple. You just rip off these right here and all that stuff. You rip these off, you know, you rip this off and you yank the wire underneath the roof and all that and the and the pillar and all that. It's real easy. It's not hard at all. It don't take long at all. But let me go ahead and rip this bad boy out and rip that one out. Throw that one away. Move this camera and the power supply over there. And we'll be set for the truck. And then we'll start doing stuff for this, for that new camera onto this car on the STI. Okay? Catch you guys in a bit. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> all right. So this is how we did it. All right. So I got a dash cam. I run the power and uh, the other cable to run the rear dash cam. I run it up, threw over, went down, and now I'm down here, okay? So, I had ground this wire already to this bolt right here already, if you guys can see, okay? Bolt's wired up. Now I just gotta find out um, which power is to have it consisting on. So I'm gonna hardwire it to where, when the car is off, it's still recording. So I want that dash cam to keep on recording so everything going wrong with the car, We'll find out. So I don't have the tool to do it. I call one of my friend Ed, one of my best friends. He's coming over. He's gonna test which one has consistent power. 
we're gonna plug to plug the red wire to that as well and the yellow wire is for the accessory so that's that's easy to find that's not hard at all um other the wire i ran it up the other wire okay run it up all across wrap around and went through the back okay i went through the back all the way up to the top okay and we got the wires right here this is for the the rear camera so i pre-wired it so once i see i pre-wired it for the rear camera so once i uh redo the tent on the car because i am planning to do a retail on this car um once that's done then i'll able to mount the rear camera back here uh for this car in the meantime i'm having it pre-wired right now that way it's out exposed we just have it there for right now and we're set so that wire is done so we just gotta work on this here do some testing and we're good um i manually turn on the camera with the cigarette lighter and i make sure where i want that camera at and i put it right there a uh, good view okay so that's what it's gonna look like okay there you go that's what it's gonna look like all right so that camera is gonna be recording the whole entire time okay um once i turn it on i make sure i where i want it, want the camera how i want it to sit and it has good view 4k beautiful picture okay and um go from there okay uh on the app itself we'll have to disconnect everything but i'll just wait till eddie gets here and i'll show you the menu you're also going to need if you're going to use and buy this one here the one i have um we'll go through the settings here you're going to need this right here uh thinkware cloud you're going to open that okay and it's also going to tell you to insert a micro sod card and all that um we're going to go through the menus on that as well but uh as soon as you hardwire that for me well i'll do that part for you guys all right guys catch you guys in a bit has it been happening yeah i heard it's supposed to come back but i don't think i don't think it got here that fast oh man it's still here what are you talking about they're saying that the mutated version is coming out mutated for covid yeah uh -huh. what's up guys my best friend showed up say hi what's up Ed? hello so he's gonna help me hot wire this one here well not hot wire to steal a car but hot wire with a camera and then um i'm gonna go eat i'm hungry Hannah's supposed to work today she didn't work today she's sleeping so we're gonna I'll give her some food i think we'll give me some jubilee or something um we're cream for fried chicken for some reason yes i know i gained some weight but hey i'm hungry you gotta eat so he's doing that part right now see that's a tool that i don't have so necessarily dude are you sure this one's uh... that one's an accessory that yellow one so that one we could hook up to a cigarette lighter this red one's accessory what the red one's accessory you sure it says for accessory right here and then the yellow one says battery let me see the paper oh crap they have the installation cut the sucker off and re split it again well i guess my, that's my fault because when i look on youtube uh, when i looked it up and that's what said the red so i don't know really all right guys we're back okay so ed just left he just finished doing this for me okay so apparently the wire was backwards so the the yellow wire that came with the hard wire is the consistent power and the red wire was a accessory wire so he ran on uh, he, he found that out and read it on the wire itself and i thought it was the other way around anyway he swapped it out so we end up getting go to o'reilly and get a, uh, one more uh, fuse tap and as you guys can see we are done okay so this is the accessory wire the red one here is the accessory wire and the yellow one here is the the power consistent wire to have it continuously on now right here in the middle right here one two three four so in the fourth sl slot the fourth slot of that is one two three four so right now the consistent power is the wiper device at 7.5 amps and the other one for um accessory wire as at the very corner three up so one two three so the, the accessory wire is that uh the dc drl 7.5 amp okay so that's how you wired it just to give you an idea okay you get a close up okay and i'm gonna put everything back so 
I'm gonna zip tie it and put everything back. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. See, Wi-Fi is on and it's recording. Okay, the wire in the back is also uh, should be on as well. Okay, here we guys, a little thing. Show you guys real quick. The car is on, but the motor is not on. Now, let's go check the back. I want to go ahead and install the the dash cam in the rear, anyways. So. I want to go ahead and install it. Okay, uh, it should be on. Okay, it should be on. Okay, so we'll find out. Now, <clears throat> once that's done, I'm gonna bust up the app. Okay, not connected. Go to your settings, go to the Wi Fi mode and hit the thinkware okay and that is <coughs> connected okay once that connected go back to the software connect connected to a smartphone there you go so he's connected to a smartphone okay so we're gonna go view camera view So that's what the front view looks like, okay? Now I'll give you, uh, you see the green and the blue light, it's gonna tell you how to adjust it, and I already did that already. Sorry, some neighbor in the back. Okay, so this is the front view, okay? There's a little button there on the R. You guys can see it, whoops. That's hard to do this with my freaking hand. GPS connected. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> okay. Go back here. What's this? Oh, it's asking me to sign in. Hold on a second. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry, I have to set it up and sign in and create an account with Thinkware. Uh, once you do that, everything's good. And you connect your, um, you connect your, um, whoops. You connect your Wi-Fi to the Thinkware. If you guys see it, Thinkware uh, B5. Once you do that, open the app, and then you you connect it, and you hit View. Okay, so now you guys will see the front view. See it? Now, if you don't want to see the blue and green line, all you do is hit this tab right here on top, in the middle one. And it removes that guy those guidelines so you guys can see that is the front view okay live clear picture now if I want to see the back camera all you do is hit this again you see the R right there you hit the R that is the rear uh, rear view why is that upside down uh oh that's upside down looks like I need to fix that <laughs> I need to flip that catch you guys in a bit <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so I flipped the, I flipped the camera on the on the rear mirror, uh, rear camera. So now we're good. Okay, like as I was saying, it's the front. You go to this tab right here, the little R. You see the little R? You get the R button, and there you go. That's the rear camera. Good picture, clear, very clear. Yeah, I flipped the camera. We're good to go. Now, go back out. Back to the front and i'm going to try to do this part here okay so we go dash cam settings hold on a second so i took the camera off the tripod so it'll make it easier for you guys to see okay so you see here all the settings so we got the recording settings camera settings road safety settings um system settings and network function settings so let's go to uh camera camera settings uh 4k cool uh brightness mid rear mid uh rear camera uh rotate rear camera oh if i do that i would rotate it oh well screw it okay go back go to record settings uh continuous mode uh lowest now we're gonna put mid super night vision parking mode 
Okay, continues and parking mode. Okay, uh, parking mode disabled. I want it enabled. Uh, energy saving mode recording will be available. Do you wish to proceed? After selecting energy saving mode, only instant recording will be available. Do you wish? What? Well, this is new to me. I'm gonna hit okay. Let's just save battery or whatever, and you can do motion. You can do time lapse. You know what? I'm gonna do motion instead. Recording will be saved. Motion received. Caution: All parking mode videos will be deleted. Yeah. Okay. Impact mid. I want put in parking mode. I want put high. Because you're parking. Um, motion detector sensitivity. Uh, mid is fine. Um, off timer 48 hours battery protection enabled 12 volts 24 volts um, water time battery protection okay you do that radar I don't know what that is okay that's the dash cam settings and then we're gonna go to road safety settings Sa safe camera safety camera enabled mobile zone alert enabled um, vehicle type sedan Initialize and that is calibration data perform it continues while during vehicle operation. Okay. Um lane departure warning. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna put low. Or you know what? This is what okay, and then you got C S W S forward collision warning. Enabled and then low speed front vehicle departure warning. And you just, you just play with it and see how you want how you want it. I'm gonna put that one low. Actually I'm gonna put mid. Put this one here. That's fine. That's fine. Just play with it to see how you like. This is the setting so far. And here's the system settings right here. Volume. I won't put zero. I don't want to hear the volume. Like the beeping noise and all of that. Security LED enabled. Rear care LED disabled or enabled. You can put enabled. Time zone. Okay. Daylight saving enabled. Uh, speed unit. You can do cam or you can use power, mouse per hour. Uh, speed stamp. Um, frequency, a uh, Wi-Fi band, uh, voice recording enabled, uh, speed stamp. I want to put disabled. Like I said, you said how you want it. Okay. And then you got network functionality. Network function enabled. You wish to use the dash cam network function. Knows the 3E or LEG connected hotspot Wi-Fi will be used. Yes. If it is. Okay. Um, strong impact notification while driving. Put impact one. Uh, upload device, uh, driving impact video. Enabled. Notify impact while park. Uh, strong impact notification warning. Upload strong impact videos recorded while parked. Enabled. Okay. And once you did all that, you're good to go. As you remember in here, continuous priority, uh, uh, continuously, okay, and then uh, overwrite videos, continuous recording, uh, incident recording, continuous mode, motion detection, recording in parking mode, incident recording in parking mode, and manual recording, okay, and what's this right here? Uh, cloud uh, added network for dash cams. Okay, so select the dash cam uh, to register. This is what we have. Next, input complete, and that's me into this. Let me hold on, let me do this real quick. All right, guys. So what I did was um, to go on the app, the app itself, and download the uh, the latest up there firmware for it. Once you download it to your phone. And then you manually click the um, uh, connect your phone 
to the dash cam itself and now it's up um, firmware upgrade in progress so now it's updating the firmware so if you want to turn on the wi-fi you can hit the the middle button if you want to turn on uh turn on the mic you hit the bottom button if you guys can see it if you want to hit the top button let's turn on and turn off okay so now it's upgrading the, the firmware for the upgrade for that's what that's what i've been struggling right now but i figured it out it's pretty simple um it's not hard at all um once it's done upgrading uh i'm not upgrading but um upload the firm uh software update for the dash cam we should be set from there um right now it's still doing it so 94 percent going and the menu on this app for this dash cam is not bad at all i mean i see like three star reviews on it but i don't know why i don't know why people do it but some bad review but it works good you know and there we go we have it so now it's done updating the firmware okay. update will now start there you do go. not turn off the system there you go see so now it's you actually you actually hear it so now it's uh doing its thing so once it's done this thing i want to reconnect to my phone and check it to be sure one more time and then we'll call it we're pretty much done here all right guys catch us in a bit okay so now it's already done updated so everything's good dash cam info here's the firmware okay version 1.00.18 Okay, model name U1000. Okay, safety camera version. Everything is good to go. GPS info is good connected. Okay, and you can enable the network. You can connect the internet through your hotspot to your dash cam to the hotspot. Okay, but you gotta turn on your um, your personal hotspot on though to do that. Okay, but I already updated the firmware. That's what I was trying to do earlier, and everything is set. And right here, once you set your things. You have push for notifications here, firmware update notification, so I get a notification of that. Uh, in strong impact notification while driving, in impact notification while parked, strong impact notification while parked. So it's pretty pretty simple, you know. You get your support here, app info, term of use. You should support here, firmware download, the download the safety cameras, user manual. It's pretty simple. It's not crazy at all. And once you do that, everything is set. Okay, connection settings here. You can go Wi-Fi settings here. You can actually connect this uh, Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi settings here and um, be set from there. All right, guys, that's all right right now. Thank you for watching. Um, I already moved the other dash cam to the other uh, to the truck. You know what? Let me show you guys that. Catch you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? All right, we're back. Now I want to give you guys an update. Okay, so ever since we started the dash cam, it's been working flawlessly no problem whatsoever now here's the catch we've been driving for about what two months two and a half months prior and that dash cam it's on every day and night 24 7 every day seven days a week and um i just replaced the battery on it and we have the ultima yellow top battery right and um My fiance been using the car to go to work every single day. And there are a few nights that when she gets up in the morning to go get ready for work, she'll start she'll, she'll start the car, but the car won't turn over. I'm like, I'm over here thinking like, we didn't have the car for a full year yet. It should be doing that. It's like a new car, it's a new car to us. You know, everything checks out, you know. Over there at JD Motor Works, he checks everything out. Everything's fine. It's good for a daily. It's for every day. Everything is in great condition. Very, very great condition. You should have no problem whatsoever. And I, and that's, and I tell that to myself, like, well, what's wrong with the STI? There's nothing wrong with the STI. Anyhow, come to think about it, when I'm over here sitting thinking, I'm over here driving my truck going to work every day. Only way if I have a hard start, hard time starting, I know it ain't the starter. I know it ain't the alternator. I know it ain't the battery because that battery is brand new. What's eating the power? And I think to myself, well, the dash cam. Okay, so the dash cam is running 24 seven. So <clears throat> I'm gonna fix that issue today. So the S is over there, you guys see? Okay, it's over there, okay. And I ordered this part from 
I ordered this product from the same company that I bought it from, uh, Black Box. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, I should have bought it at the same time when I bought the dash cam, but I didn't think I didn't need it because I bought a yellow top Ultima battery. And you know, Ultima makes different type of batteries. The red top is for cold start, heavy start, it will start your car no matter what. Yellow top is for people who have systems in the car, like if you have two tens, two twelves, two fifteens, and the subs in the trunk, banging that music every day, every time you go cruise. That's what the yellow top's for. It's, it's actually a lot of extra more power, and that's why I was wondering why the car is doing that. It's not starting the car when, when my my wife is going to work. The car have a hard time starting, but it's not starting the car like three times already. So like, there's no way. It's a yellow top battery. It's even better than the than the red top battery. Then the Ultima battery has a blue one, a blue top. It's for Marines, which is for the boats. You know, you know, you go fishing and all of that. That's for that. And Ultima battery makes so many different other batteries too. And, and technology has grown. And then the Ultima battery is an AGM battery. An AGM battery. It ain't no acid. There's no water in it. There's no acid in it. There's no battery acid in it. It's pure AGM battery. Ultima battery is one of the best batteries you can buy for your car. I have a red top car in my Z, but the yellow top is in the Subi on the STI. Why would it do that? I don't get that. Anyhow, the package came in yesterday, today Saturday. So we're gonna do the review on it, what's it about, and get that done in the stock. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, the, I opened the package to see everything's checked out, and it's still brand new in package. I don't know where I was texting me in the morning. Um, everything is here, so open it up. Nice steel packaging. We got the black, a black box, my car, power cell. So this is a battery pack for your car, okay? This is a battery pack for your car, extra power. So what it does is that instead of using, it still use the, the battery from your car, right? But this is a backup battery. So when you drive in your car, it's gonna start charging this battery pack. So this battery pack will run a full charge as 35 hours, 35, 38 hours, rough around there. This is the one of the best battery packs you can buy for your dash cam. So since there, there's, she has two days off, there are times when she don't roll, when the dash cam is still rolling, rolling and still parked and still recording, the, the, it's gonna start using the power from the battery pack. Once the battery pack fully drains out all its power, then it'll start running. Then it's gonna start running off the power off the battery. So first things first, you drive this car with the battery, with this battery pack hooked up to your car. It takes 50 minutes to fully charge this battery pack. Once you drive for 50 minutes, you know, drive around town, run errands, do whatever, you know, this battery pack would charge. Now the dash cam is gonna keep recording the days that you're not working and the days you're working, going to and from work every day. This battery pack will last up to 35 to 38 hours, okay? So let's say you drive, you park the car, you're up for two days, okay? The, the dash cam is gonna, the front dash cam and the rear dash cam is gonna still record the whole entire time. As it's recording, it's gonna start using the, the power from this battery pack. Once this battery pack is fully drained out, now it's going to start using the power from the car battery okay so it it's a backup system for that way it doesn't abuse your or eat up all your power from your car battery it'll start eating power from the battery pack now once you start getting up and go to work or go up and run errands or go do what you gotta do go to movies or whatever or grocery shopping whatever once you start driving again the car is going to start charging the battery right the car battery when you start charging the car battery the battery the car battery is going to start charging this battery this battery pack here and it's gonna fully charge this battery pack here so it'll run it'll restore the power in this battery pack so it'll run additional 35 hours hold its power so when you park it's gonna the dash cam is gonna run the power off of this battery pack instead of the car battery but once this battery is all gone once this back once this power on this battery pack is all gone it's gonna start recording now uh, uh, using the power from the car battery instead of the uh the battery pack and that's the reason why I bought that. So that way it'd be less abusive on the, on, on the car battery. The car will always start, maintain the, uh, the battery, 
and the video recorders of parking or going to work to and from every day will still be running 24 7 okay so what you get in the box here we got um some pre-wires here they give you a selection you know what kind of dash cam you have and they'll pre-wire some of the wires for you okay pretty pretty simple okay well, that's pretty oh that's a fuse right here inside here i think it looked like it it's really hard to see they bulge that up protect it and then they got a hard wire here then you got some of these right here that i'm not messed with that's like a little fuse inside here and then your power wire then you got some some of these fuses what i already have we'll probably end up using them then over here to get more power this is the battery pack uh what i have see increased parking recording by up to 48 hours the best of the best built for all dash cams is universal and not only that if this battery pack is not good enough you want more power you can actually buy more of the battery packs and stack on top of the battery pack that you have now and it will record for a long period of time whether the car running it won't hurt the battery okay and you can expand it see expansion pack one expansion pack two as you can keep it expanding 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 and you have all the power you need okay pretty straightforward now let's get to the presentation here so we got the black box black box my car okay smart limpo p uh limpo uh four battery pack for dash cams um so limpo four material smartphone uh compatible it is bluetooth which is pretty awesome uh sleek modern design park protect 24 7 ready built-in bluetooth smart fast charging works with any device any vehicle okay pretty straightforward over here you go over here made in korea the power cell 8 it's a 7 uh 7500 um mah 12.8 volt with a 96 wh i don't know what that is wh storage is minus 10 celsius to minus 30 celsius when you put in storage input is 12 point 12 to 17 volts 13.5 and um at max output 12 to 14.2 volts uh 2a max manufactured in by egen okay this is the side nothing here over here I didn't get this one here. This is the Power Cell 8. This is the Power Cell uh, 8 with it, uh, an extra battery pack. So it'll be two battery packs if you were to get that. But I think one battery pack is good enough. Let's open it up. So you got in the package here, you got your power cord here, okay? More additional wire to run a hard wire. Use the manual, okay? Use the phone to scan the cardboard code to show you how to install it. Pretty straightforward, okay. Run a terminal, set specs, installation, which I'm gonna be needing, okay. The back, the app guide, the Bluetooth guide, all that right there. Not bad. I'm gonna need this. This is some Velcros. I'm gonna give you two Velcros stickers so you can Velcro them for your battery pack. I'm gonna need those. Whoa. I think it's kind of big. <laughs> I thought I'd be smaller than that when I saw it on the on the website. Okay, so here's your power cell. Wow. This is for if you have another battery, a battery pack, you can hook it to this. That way, you can run two battery packs at the same time. You get your low, your off, and high. FW. I don't know what that is. USB dash cam output and regal input pretty straightforward power cell eight okay you guys can see that up there on the side and in the back black box my car power cell eight limp up battery pack it has a little weight to it okay it has a little weight to it i'm trying to figure out where in the hell i want to put this <laughs> we'll find out okay so now we got all this stuff out of the way. Let's start working. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys. 
I took out most of the stuff out, okay? So, here is the power to the dash cam, okay? This is the power to the dash cam and it's grounded, okay? This is run to the dash cam. I'm gonna have to remove this and replace this with the fuse with this one here, because this one here goes to the dash cam, okay? And the same thing is already been preset, okay? Now, I wanna give you guys a note. Now, when you buy a kit, especially for the particular one that you have, they come with these fuses right here. As you see, this is a small one. You got the head on this one, you have the fuse. Then they got different size. They don't know which one it is for your car. And they got the big one, you see it? So when you buy a kit, they come, um, give you everything you need to do your install. You see that? Different type of uh, wire type fuses, okay? And look, that's what's up, man. You see? So they give you all these fuses here. That way you can get the job done, okay? Obviously I won't be using this one here, okay? And then I gotta replace this wire here with this wire here. So I gotta take all that out, all this out, unground it, remove this from the dash cam, run this to the dash cam, and after I run that to the dash cam, this goes to the battery pack, see? This goes to the battery pack. And since that's going to the battery pack over here, um, over here, we got this as well. This goes to the battery pack to the fuse panel. And see, it's ground. And I have to add this fuse, this wire here, to this one. Okay? And tap it in. Okay? So, give and take, that's what's going to run. You also got to figure it out where you're going to install that battery pack. I was thinking about mount it inside, up inside, and stick it up there or you find your traditional way of where you want to mount it, okay? So, this one here gives consistent power. This one here is more of a dud, okay? Well, actually, this one here is more of a consistent power. This one here is just a, uh, um, a, a auxiliary power, okay? So, given note, that's the fuses, okay? But once you get everything done, and also, I wanna, as I was playing around with this as well, okay, right here, I'm gonna show you guys this. Okay, so you see here it says low, off, and high. How fast do you want your battery pack to charge from your car battery? So you put low, it start charging it low at, uh, it's, so it takes about 100 minutes to charge this battery pack. If you sit on high, it will charge this battery pack within 50 minutes and this battery pack will be fully charged. But you have to figure out where you're gonna mount this, okay? And it, this one here does a little have some weight to it. So it does have weight to it. So if you mount somewhere in there, you're gonna have to zip tie it add you know extra velcro double side tape figure it out what you want to do and run it all right guys that's just an update let me go and finish this install and see how it goes catch you guys in a bit what's up guys all right everything is done okay everything is done i'm happy with the results came out great when you get this item if you do buy a power cell battery pack scan the scan the barcode and it'll, die, and it'll lead you to that bluetooth app for the battery okay i highly recommend it I check everything out. Now I couldn't install the battery pack underneath the steering wheel due to how large it is. It's not because it's thin. Now thin helps out a big lot, but it was just wide. It was no any clear clearance for me to mount it. So I was trying to zip tie it, didn't work. So you know what? I'm gonna just do it the easy way, like how we install sound systems and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna mount it underneath the seat on the driver's side. That's what I did. So I ran everything. Okay, everything is done, okay. Fuel is tapped in, okay? So we just wanna make sure everything's intact, okay? The camera is recording, you see it? So it's blinking, I was on Wi-Fi mode. The R, uh, the, middle, the middle one, the red light is recording. So we're good there. I ran the top fuse and everything, we're good to go. So now we're here, we got the battery pack, okay? It's upside down right now, cause I put Velcro and I'm about to mount it underneath the seat, okay? But give and take, Right here, I'll put on high charge. You can put on low, okay? And if you wanna buy an extra battery pack and stack it on top of this, all you do is plug into this and it'll add extra power. The USB is to hook it up to uh, uh, to a, uh, uh, um, a computer or a USB flash drive, but it has its own Bluetooth already, so it's not really necessarily needed, you know what I mean? So everything's good and good. I'm gonna set on high, okay? So we're good there.
I'm gonna mount underneath the seat. I'm gonna leave it there for right now. So let's get down to this part right here. Let me put the camera around. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so camera's recording. Now <clears throat> they want you to download this app, and it's called um, Sit. Uh, Cell Link Neo Plus, right there. You see it? Cell Leo Link Plus. So you hit that. Okay. So to do for device, I already checked it. Okay, so now it's going to show me it's at 95%, 96%. So still charging. So we got a full charge. So we got a 75 a milliamp uh, limpo battery, charging time about two seconds, unusable time, zero because it's brand new. And you go to the settings right here. When you obviously put your password in. And then right here, you can set the beep on and off. If you want it quiet, you don't want it quiet. Uh, if you want to stop the charge without going back there, you can just hit this button right here. Oh crap. You just hit that uh, button right there, that will stop charging. If you want it to charge, just hit that. It'll automatically charge. This is the battery capacity, the external battery, if you want to add it. Current is at 7.5 milliamp right now. Okay. And we're good. So now it's charging from the battery. Now we got 100%. Okay. So we're good there. So that is the C uh, Cell Link Neo battery pack Bluetooth. And it works great. Look at this. Charging time is, is moving up and down. You see it? It's fluctuating. You see? It's working. You know everything's working great so now the the camera is recording okay so now it's recording full time now now you gotta remember this is not just the front the the, the front dash cam we also got the the rear dash cam too okay don't forget we got the rear dash cam too okay so this is also recording front and rear view uh dash cam okay so you know you look back here you look, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see a blue light. All right, look at it right there. If you see that blue light blink, kind of, it's kind of hard to see through that tent. But that's letting you know that it's on, it's recording. You know, that blue light on the LED on the dash cam. So now, everything in service. I'm going to put the battery away. I need the seat. Everything is done. Everything is ready to go. So, all right, guys. So, I highly recommend it. If you get a dash cam, if you want it to have a full record 24-7 every day when you're parking, when you're at home, you never know. You go to somewhere, you go to a movie theater, and then next you come out, your car's been hit, or your car's been broken into, you wanna know what the hell happened. You got a dash cam, it's recording 24 seven every day. You just don't know, you know? It's better to have it and not need it, and when you really need it, you don't have it, you know? So, and not only that, you know, I, sometimes you go somewhere, and I leave the gun in the car. You And you know, if the guns, you know, try, try to steal the gun, and it broke into your car, and try to steal your gun, you know, at least you get somewhat idea of what's going on, you know, because they don't know you have a rear dash cam because they can't really see it. And then if it shows from the, from the camera, I get the footage in the front dash cam. We're good. You know, if they pass by with a car, I get the license plate, we call it the car. You just don't know. It's better to have it. You know, I really highly recommend it. If you guys get a dash cam, set up hardwire and have it record 24 seven. Okay. Maintain that memory card. You're good. Buy a battery pack so it doesn't drain your battery, doesn't eat your battery keeps it running so the concept of the battery pack again the, the dash cam will use the power from the from the battery pack once the battery or the power of the battery pack is all gone it will start using power from the car battery but that gives you more extension more time to charge both units of the car, your car battery and your battery pack okay so it doesn't beat up your car battery all the time now you know as you guys know then i already put a new battery in there you know I put, a, I put a new battery in there and it's not even not even three months old and then we take care of our you know our stuff you know we drive this car every day is our daily you know so you guys can see we have the Altima yellow type battery this is for design for for um for 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 for, for sound you know if you you're bumping a big system you know uh, aftermarket radio 12 subwoofers high tweeters six by nines and all that other stuff you know that yellow top helps out a lot and then on my car i have on my z i'm running a red, a red top battery you know i'm not really putting to put 
any big system on my car, you know, but you know, it starts every time to take care of the battery, you know? So that one has a red red top. This one here has a yellow top, you know? But having an optimal battery actually gives you a better leverage, better benefits to help run your system for your dash cam and, and your battery pack if you decide to go this route. That's all the update guys. Just wanna let you know a reminder. You know, I bought a, you know, using this dash cam for two, three months now, having some starter issues because that dash cam is running 24 seven nonstop. Even when this car is parked, the battery is still being drained. It was going good for the first two months and started hitting the second and a half, uh, second and a half month and three months. Man, it started hard to start the car. I was like, whoa, that ain't right. So, bought a battery pack, everything should be good. You should have no more starting issue with this car, okay? That's the update, guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for this late video. Um, I didn't expect to buy this battery pack and do an update video after this first video you guys saw to add this clip here to this video here. But just giving you guys wisdom and knowledge, you know, if you guys running a dash cam, hard wiring and running it 24 seven, if you have a, a money and you're getting a, a, a combo deal, they offer a combo deal and they offer a battery pack with it, just buy it, have it done, fix it, put it up together, you're set. You don't worry about it no more, you know? So it's, both systems are running 24 seven, we're good. And now we spent a lot of money in these cars, you know? Like, look, look, this is a lot of money, you know? Wheels are easily over 3K, exhaust is over, you know 1.5k you know tail lights this is you know 650 700 dollars you know badge exhaust you know the rear bumper carbon fiber side skirts you know this you know carbon fiber hood you know carbon fiber front grill you know um leds fog lights the drl bezels as well front lip you know all this stuff here costs a lot of money you know we have to maintain and take care of our stuff you know change all the badges you know it's, it's radar you know the radar is easy a thousand dollars almost four hundred dollars for, for a red line radar you know there's all this stuff here costs a lot of money you know we have to take care of all our stuff you know it's it's i highly recommend having a dash cam wherever this car goes you know i'm watching out for it all the time you know what i mean you put a lot of money in this car here we have to take care of it you know so get a dash cam have hardwire run four for seven and be done with it I think I'm getting another dash cam for that car, but when money comes around, I'll probably do the same system I have here and put on that car, you know? But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, you know, business come first. I gotta take care of my truck first, and we're set. All right, guys, that's the update. Thank you for watching. Again, please give me a thumbs like. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. Every, um, I'm trying to keep uh, my videos coming, okay? So I try to do a post every Friday. Um, also, check out my other YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. I'm on there as well. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Catch you guys later on the next episode. Peace, y'all. All right, guys. We're in a truck. Here we have it. So that's the old camera to my STI. I moved it to my truck truck. So now, we're good. Looking good works falsely. <laughs>